Okay. Um, this first one is about cloud-based storage. Um, the reason why I introduced cloud-based storage at school was there's loads of constraints in, in schools at the minute. One of them being massive pile of market to carry on every single day. Um, being a, an ICT teacher doing the OCR Nationals, they're handing work like Billy O, and you think, God, I've got to carry all this now, and then mark it all. And you mark all this great work, or not, in the case may be, and you give it back and say, you've got a few improvements to make. Okay, I'll go and make the improvements. They make the improvements, they print it off again, more paper, more pile, that pile now goes in the bin. So you think, well, this is crazy. You've got toner, you've got paper, it all costs money. Cues at the printer, then the toner dies, so kids are waiting at the printer now for someone to come and change the toner. Um, access to files, once they've printed it off, they won't have access to files at home. So, you know, that 50 minute lesson you've got, well, that's the only time that they can do their work in that 50 minute lesson. And then when it comes to moderation, you've got all these boxes of files, and you think, right, they want these 20 kids. Where are those 20 kids? And you've got to go searching through it, and then you find, oh, that child hasn't done that bit of work, or it's not in that box. It gets really, really messy. So what we decided to do was introduce uh, Dropbox into school. Dropbox isn't the only cloud-based storage solution, and I'm not sponsored by Dropbox in any way, shape or form. Um, <laughs> there are others available, but I've tried lots of the others before I implemented Dropbox. I tried SugarSync, which was the next most popular one. I didn't quite do what I wanted to do in school. Um, the reason why I chose Dropbox was a pupil could share one folder with me and put as many folders as they like in there, or I could put folders in there for them and then their work would go in the correct folder. When they put work in the, in the Dropbox folder, it's automatically shared with me so I can see it wherever I am online and the pupils can get access to that at home as well, should they so wish. So they log on to dropbox.com. The idea is they create a, an account with their with a school email address and they'll make one folder. They make a folder with their username and then I make a folder for every class that I teach that I'd like to use Dropbox with. As soon as they give me that folder, I'll then put it into the right class. So I can go to that class at any point in time, and hopefully pupils' work will be in there Have they submitted a, should they have submitted a mark sheet. So the system we have in place is I set up the folders for the units of work they do, so they don't have to mess about that side of things. All they have to do is create a Dropbox account with their, with their uh, school email address. We then provide, at the minute, until it all changes with ICT and computing and all the rest of it, but at the minute, for OCR, we provide templates. So this is what a, a typical template looks like. It tells them what kind of thing they've got to do to fulfil the task, and it tells them if they're going to work towards a pass, a merit or a distinction. And these were got from, uh, from a guy at a Cunnell some time ago. You can, you can get hold of these, these are PowerPoint templates. Um, People will fill this on, in online, or on their computers, depending on what, on what task they're doing. They'll add a screenshot evidence, or they'll type text in, and then they'll save it. They'll save it to the Dropbox and upload it. They'll then submit a mark sheet to me, because obviously I don't want to go checking everybody's Dropbox folder every night, because that's worse in some cases than carrying a huge pile of folders home. Once I've got a mark sheet in front of me, I think, right, Matthew has done AO1 in Unit 1, or whatever it is, um, I'll need to go in his folder and have a look, and I can go online and check that wherever I may be. Once I check it, I can then put notes on the mark sheet he's handed in, one piece of paper, that goes back to the child, he'll go make the updates online, I get the mark sheet back, what was wrong, right, I'll go and check that again. All this has been done with one sheet of paper, rather than lots and lots of effort and lots and lots of waiting, printing off lots and lots of pieces of paper. <coughs> I don't know if you can see that, that well. With Dropbox, pupils get two gigabytes free anyway. So it, it, there's no cost to the pupil whatsoever. For ourselves, we've purchased the 50 gigabytes for the school because obviously we want to keep pupils' uh, coursework for, for quite a while. And that costs $99 per year. If you think offset that against the cost of the toning you're not paying for, um, the paper you're no longer paying for, you pay for little bits, but not, not to the degree we were. And the time wasted by people running up downstairs changing tones or children just wasting minutes of the lesson at the printer. $99 is a, is a pretty good deal. It's about 65 quid or something like that. Um, and all the work is safe. So that's, that's the number one benefit. That you're no longer rummaging around for work. If I know the kids done the work, then I know it's in, in Dropbox. And even if they've gone and deleted it, the benefit with Dropbox is you've got unlimited um, retrieval, an unlimited retrieval system on there. 
the increased output is huge because now we're not, we haven't got those queues at, at the printer. They're doing work, they just upload it, they're back onto the next task straight away. The quality of work is improved, but that's purely because of the templates, not just because of the um, Dropbox. We've then got the monetary saving of consumables and maintenance. Again, as the printer that I mentioned there, the printing Tomo cartridges and paper I mentioned before. This one has been an important one for us, the integrity of the work. We have had instances where pupils have said, I'm a little bit behind with the work, and you've gone on, and I thought, this, this, I'm not sure this is yours, but because it's all on Dropbox, and you can check the author, and you can check who last saved it, um, you know for a fact now that when a pupil's done the work, and you're checking the pupil, unless they've gone to extreme measures to change the author, um, the chances are that the work is, is that pupil, and it's, it's there for, for a long time. Um, and there's some details there if you want them. If you don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay?